You see this? It's just a bolt, but it signifies the little things that we've done to make this the ultimate bikepacking bike. Hey there, my name is Ryan. If you're a new viewer to my channel, welcome to the party. And if you're a long time viewer, well then, ole, 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 ole. And today, we are talking about the brand new Priority ADX. So first off, why did we name it the ADX? Well, we wanted to name it after one of our heroes, Anthony Davis, one of the best basketball players in the world and a huge fan of bikepacking. That's actually not true at all. There's no way this bike would fit that giant of a man. But we did change the geometry up so it will fit a broader range of people. I will tell you more about that later. We named it after Adam Driver because this bike has the magical powers of a Jedi. No, that's not right either. We named it after my best friend, and you all know and love her, Dana. Awesome Dana X. That's not right either. I'm totally lying to you, but don't tell Dana. We named it the ADX because it stands for adventure. And it's adventure time, baby. Okay, so. You've probably seen on my channel recently that I've been riding a blue bike. Well, that blue bike is the prototype of this bike, the ADX. And the ADX is the culmination of four years of adventures and research and feedback from you that we've gotten from the Priority 600X. And this, my friends, is what we came up with and we are very proud of it and very excited to share it with you and hopefully get more of you out on bikepacking adventures. Ah, uh, it's so beautiful! So what are the main differences between this bike, the ADX, and the 600X? And I just wanna reassure anybody out there who owns the 600X. Whoa, that was bad. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> All right, where was I? I was talking about the 600X and how awesome of a bike it is. And it really is. And I'll be forever proud of that bike. That's the first bike I ever designed with my friends at Priority Bikes. And I'm equally as proud and as excited about this bike too. But we really like to take it into account your feedback. And we got some feedback from people who wanted to ride this bike, but the geometry just wasn't quite right for them. And that specifically pertains to shorter people. So what did we do? We changed up the geometry a bit. And that means the top bar here is more sloping than the 600X. So now the small version of this bike will fit people around 5'3 to 5'5. Five five. Yay! And we're adding an extra large frame to the lineup which will probably be good for people up to 6'5". It really depends on your inseam. It's not always about your height, but we are really excited that more people of different types of body sizes are gonna be able to rock this bike. One of the great things about the 600X is that it's a very comfortable ride. You're pretty darn upright. And why is that good? Well, when you're out on a bike packing adventure for let's say seven to 10 hours a day, you wanna be somewhat upright so you're not crunched over and getting some lower back pain. We kept that with this bike. It's still upright and comfortable, but it is a little bit more aggressive. And what does that mean? Well, it's gonna be more capable on more technical terrain. I've been riding this for the past three months. I just rode this bike 500 miles through New Mexico and it feels so good. It's snappy and it's fun and it's comfortable. <laughs> Where should I put my head? Uh, right here? Is that a good spot? Here we go. Another big change from the 600X is this right here, the front fork. This is the Marzocchi, Marzocchi, I don't know, it's an Italian word, Marzocchi B2 Bomber. Not to be confused with bummer, it is a bomber and it is definitely bomber. It is very easy to set up. There is one air chamber up here. Super easy to get it dialed into your weight and how you like the plushness. And speaking of plushness, is that a word? 
It is a very plush ride. It's 100 millimeters of travel, which is plenty for any type of bike packing situation. And you can go firm on this. You can hit this little latch right here and it will take you to a lockout. Because sometimes when you're bike packing, you don't need suspension. Maybe you're riding a long section of pavement and you just don't need it. I've been very happy with this fork. It's also pretty darn light, which is great. If you're a bike packer, you probably know that a lot of bike packing bikes don't have suspension at all. But I like suspension because it just takes the edge off. Sometimes you're not even on a technical trail. You might be just on a dirt road with a lot of washboard. Bumpy, 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 bumpy. And if you have a front fork with a little bit of suspension, it definitely makes the ride smoother. Another thing I love about this fork, it's made in the Fox factory. And that means if you ever have any problems with this, you can take this into pretty much any shop anywhere and they will know how to fix it. But it doesn't always need to be fixed. We looked online, researching a lot of forks before deciding on this one, and that is because it is pretty darn low maintenance. And that, my friends, is the reason why we love this bike, low maintenance. And since I just mentioned the word low maintenance, let's go to this component or these components right here, pinion and gates. And this really is the heart and soul of this bike. Pinion is made in Germany and was designed by Porsche transmission engineers who said, hey, you know what? We should make bikes kind of like cars and put all the gears inside a protected box so that the elements don't get in and muck it all up. I have been riding a Pinion and Gate setup since 2018, first on the Priority 600, then the 600X, and now this, and I am a believer. I absolutely love it. Not only is it very, very low maintenance, but it has a 600% gear range. So that means from top to bottom, there is a 600% change in gears. For example, the SRAM Eagle setup has only a 525% gear range. So the granny gear on this one is so granny, you could almost ride this thing up a wall. And this right here is a weird looking chain. It's actually not a chain at all. It's called the Gates Carbon Belt Drive. And what's cool about this is that it never ever needs to be lubed and it lasts three times longer than a chain. And it's super quiet. And since we're in the area, I wanna highlight this right here. We added a gusset down here and right here to add a bit more stiffness to the frame. This bike comes with 2.4 inch tires and as you can see there is plenty of clearance for mud which by the way is super fun to ride through. You could put 2.6s in here and have no problem. A lot of you have heard about the Pinion Smart Shift and that is Pinion's new electronic shifting and it is super cool. It is going to be on the Priority HXT, which is their new hardcore hardtail mountain bike, and also the Priority Gemini gravel bike. But I talked with the team at Priority and we have decided to keep this bike, the bikepacking adventure bike, with the mechanical pinion setup. And why is that? Well, electric shifting is definitely cool but when you're out on an adventure for many weeks or months at a time and you're packed with all sorts of gear and other electronics i just didn't think having to charge up something else was a good idea maybe we'll do it down the line but for right now we're sticking with mechanical pinion and i actually love it it does something that the electronic version does not do so Pinion uses grip shift, and I know a lot of people gripe about grip shift, but don't knock it till you try it. And by that, I mean this. I can be in gear number one up here and be like, oh, I wanna be in 10, and you can just zip through all the gears. You can dump them all in one load, and all of a sudden, bam, you're there. So 10, one, six, four, three, bop, bop, I love it. All right, it's time to talk about the bolts. And you might think this is pretty inconsequential, but it is important to me. The 600X 
had these kind of bolts. And these are the bolts that go all throughout the frame here to put on gear or water bottles. And the reason why I wanted to go from these to these lower profile, super smooth bolts is that I always have a frame pack in the middle of the frame here. And these bolts just stick up a little bit too much and poke into the frame bags and sometimes put holes in the frame bags. So I said, Eddie, is there any way to find some low profile bolts? And he said, yeah, Ryan, of course we can do that. So the whole bike has these wonderful low pro profile bolts here that will not dig into your frame pack. And while we're on the topic of bolts and thingamabobs, well, we got plenty. You want thingamabobs? I got 20. That's a Little Mermaid reference for the 80s kids. Anyway, you wanna put gear on this bike? We got you. You can put stuff up here. We have three spots right here, all throughout the inner triangle. On the under tube right here, if you wanna put a bottle cage or whatever. You can also put bottle cages on the back of the rear triangle. Yeah, we think of everything. This right here is something that we are extremely excited about and it took a long time to develop and design. You see that number right there, 174? Well, that's the address of priority if you ever wanna stop by. Just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> uh, but this is the new hub. It is a single speed boost spaced hub. So it has 140 millimeters of spacing for ideal belt alignment and tire clearance but it uses a single speed cassette body. That means there is less chance for play between the hub and the cassette body, and the wheel itself is stiffer and stronger due to a symmetrical wheel build. Compare that to a traditional drivetrain with an 11 or 12 speed cassette body where the spokes on the drive side are usually shorter and less angled to make room so the wheel is asymmetrical as a result. The hub also uses six pawls as opposed to the three pawls on the previous version of the 600X. And there are always three engaged at a time. Now, what does that mean? <laughs> it just means that it's better. Trust me, we're really excited about this hub and the strong rear wheel. Right next to that rear hub are the TRP Slate rear brakes. I really love these brakes. I'll show you the levers in a second. What's special about these is that the rotors are thicker than traditional rotors, which means that they're stronger and they dissipate heat better. You know when you grab a brake lever and it just feels good? That's how these ones feel. They don't just feel good, but they have a lot of stopping power. Another little change that we've made that we think is pretty smart is now the rear brake cable and the dropper post cable are external. Why is that cool? Well, if anything needs to be serviced, it's much easier to get at the cables right here. And of course, we left the Get Out There logo with the image of my favorite boulder flat irons. We also got some feedback that people wanted more sparkles. So we added a million more sparkles into the paint job of this bike because sparkles make life better. I love these handlebars. We designed them for the 600X and we're keeping them for this bike. They've got a 20 degree rise and a 17 degree back sweep. They're comfy for hours in the saddle. Speaking of comfy, how about these grips? Ooh, yeah. This here is the WTB Volt saddle. And all I gotta say is uh, my butt's pretty happy with it. I just wanna add something about bicycle saddles. Just because this one fits me well, doesn't exactly mean that it's gonna fit you well. All butts are different. <laughs> Your sit bones, everything different. And so, I usually compare bike seats to like shoes. Some shoes fit people really well and others not so well. So if this seat doesn't fit you well, don't suffer through it. Go to your local bike shop and try out some other seats. You want to be comfortable if you're riding for many hours a day for days or weeks on end. And for all you kickstand lovers, boom, we beefed it up and made it stronger. And how did we make it stronger? Well, now the bolts go through the frame, which makes it easy to get at if you need to tighten it or loosen it or take it off. And I just wanna let you know, if you're a lover of kickstands, you are not alone. 
kickstands are cool, contrary to what most people think. <laughs> you know, back in the 90s when I was mountain biking a lot, you were the biggest dork in the world if you had a kickstand, but they come in pretty handy, and there's been many times on my adventures where I make people pretty jealous. I have kickstand in me, for sure. <laughs> you see, you have to sit there and hold your bike. Mine is just sitting right there, no problem. The tires are 2.4 inch WTB fast rolling Rangers, and the rims are the WTB Trail KOM I-30s, a match made in wheel heaven. They really are, they fit together perfectly. WTB on WTB. All right, this is a lot of bike talk. Are you still with me? I hope so. Thank you, appreciate it. I'm gonna check, okay. There's a few more things I wanna add. The max rider weight has gone up from the 600X to 300 pounds now, which is very cool. And the weight of the bike, at least the large, is 34 pounds. And I know a lot of you are gasping out there, oh my God, that's so heavy. You're right, it is not a lightweight cross-country bike. This is a big, old, beefy bike packing bike that you're gonna be able to depend on for thousands and thousands of miles. Again, the whole idea with this bike and all of Priority Bikes in general is low maintenance. So we have made an adventure machine for you and for me <laughs> that I truly love and that I could truly trust. The second generation of anything is always a little bit better because you learn and you gather feedback and we've done that, so thank you. We've cut weight where we could, mainly in the front suspension. We've cut some weight there from the 600X and we added some weight to the frame. These gussets right here will make for a stiffer ride. The geometry is definitely more comfortable with that sloping top tube bar. It's much easier to throw your leg over. It's gonna fit shorter people and taller people. We're proud of it. I've already said that many times and we're excited for you to go, get it, get up, get ready, to get out there, to get off your couch and take this thing on some epic adventures. Speaking of epic adventures, I'm gonna do just that. I am gonna ride this baby or race it rather, in the Tour Divide this summer from Banff, 2,700 miles along the spine of the Rockies all the way to the border of Mexico. I can't wait. You know, in a way, I feel like I'm taking this bike home. Back in 2020, I rode the prototype of the 600X on the Great Divide mountain bike route. And now it's time for this iteration to go back to that magical, beautiful trail. You know, I never thought bicycle designer would be something on my resume, but here we are, and I'm incredibly grateful and grateful to the team at Priority for trusting my vision. And I'm gonna say it again, I'm incredibly grateful for Eddie at Priority. He really is the man behind this bike, making sure that all my crazy ideas come to life. So thank you, Eddie at priority and also thank you for trusting me. I know a lot of you have bought the 600X and I love seeing your photos from around the world and all the adventures you go on and I wanna keep that train going. So if you buy this new bike, I wanna see the photos. So hashtag check out my bike, Ryan Van Duzer. I'm riding the priority 600ADX. Use that hashtag and I'll find it. <laughs> Oh, and maybe I should mention the price. That's some pertin pertinent info, pertinent? That sounds wrong when I say it out loud. Anyway, the bike is $3,500, which is a pretty dang good deal. And in a world where everything has gotten way more expensive, we've managed to keep this bike the same price, and that's really important to me. I want everybody to enjoy the magic of bike packing, but I realize that all this can add up and get really expensive. And some of you may have seen on my channel that we are developing more affordable bikepacking bikes. So stay tuned for more info on this soon-ish. And if you have any questions about this bike, and I know there's gonna be a lot of questions, especially about sizing, reach out to the team at Priority. They are extremely responsive. Also feel free to write questions or comments below here in the video and I will get back to everybody because that is what I do. Thank you so much for watching this video and all my other videos and maybe you're new to my channel so you've never seen a video. 
Check them out. I have all sorts of really fun, inspiring adventure videos from all over the world. And the goal with all of my content is to inspire you to get off your couch and to get outside and to challenge yourself in whatever way you see fit. <sighs> okay, man, I've been in this garage a long time. I need to go eat a burrito. And also, go Broncos! <laughs> see you later.